Hey meal preppers, welcome back to Sweet Peas and Saffron. I'm Denise and I share easy meal prep recipes to give you your time back during the week. So one of my favorite ways to meal prep is to cook a big batch of something and then use it up in multiple meals through the week. And today I'm gonna to show you how to cook a big batch of sweet potatoes, pretty much like the easiest way possible. And then I'm going to show you three ways that you can fill your sweet potatoes and enjoy later in the week. Sweet potatoes are such a great ingredient to meal prep with. They keep in the fridge for four to five days, and when you reheat them, you can't even tell that they have been cooked before. Um, and it's gonna save you so much time. Like if you were to roast up sweet potatoes for dinner, you're in for like 45 minutes to over an hour to get baked sweet potatoes. So pre-cooking them and then reheating them just saves you a ton of time. So today I'm showing you how to cook your sweet potatoes in the slow cooker, but if you would prefer the oven, I have directions for how to roast sweet potatoes in the oven on the blog. And if you would prefer to use an Instant Pot, I also have directions for how to cook sweet potatoes in the Instant Pot. But cooking them in the slow cooker is pretty much the easiest way possible. You can get them in the slow cooker in under five minutes and then you just kind of go about your day, set it on low for eight hours and come back and they are perfect cooked sweet potatoes waiting for you. So let's get meal prepping. So we're going to start with clean scrubbed sweet potatoes and we're just going to prick them all over with a fork and place them in a slow cooker. Now I am using a six quart slow cooker so I can fit a lot of sweet potatoes in there, um, but you can use any size so long as your sweet potatoes fit and you can really fill it up all the way to the top so long as your lid fits on. We're going to cook our sweet potatoes on low for eight hours. Now, if you have small sweet potatoes, you might be able to take them out after five to six hours, but if you have large sweet potatoes, make sure you keep them in there for the full eight hours. Okay, so after our eight hour cook time is up, we're just gonna take the lid off and let these sweet potatoes cool down slightly. And now we can either use them right away or we can store them away for meal prep. So to store them for meal prep, I would just put them in a glass meal prep container, let them cool completely, and then put them in the fridge. They stay in the fridge for up to four to five days, and then you can just reheat them as needed. So one of my favorite fillings for stuffed sweet potatoes is with spicy Italian sausage. So I'm gonna cook up some Italian sausage and make sure you just crumble it all up. So we're going to scoop out the filling of the sweet potato and put it in a bowl. We're going to put the Italian sausage in there with the sweet potato. So we're going to add some Greek yogurt or just add some plain yogurt if that's what you have like me. We're going to add some salt and cumin and mix it all up. Spoon it back into the sweet potato skins. and sprinkle with cheese. We're gonna bake these in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until everything is heated through and the cheese gets nice and melty. And that's it. Sausage stuffed sweet potatoes. So another way to stuff your sweet potatoes is with a vegetarian enchilada inspired filling. So these enchilada stuffed sweet potatoes are a popular recipe on the blog. So what we're gonna do is scoop out the sweet potato flesh and put it into a bowl. We're gonna add some enchilada sauce, salt, chili powder, ground cumin, black beans, corn, and half of the cheese. We're going to mix everything all up and then spoon it back into the sweet potato skins and sprinkle with the reserved cheese. We're going to put it in the oven and bake for 10 to 12 minutes until the filling is heated through and the cheese is nice and bubbly. And that's it for our enchilada stuffed sweet potatoes.
Okay, and my third stuffed sweet potato recipe is scrambled egg stuffed sweet potatoes. So the first thing we're going to do is heat up our oven and get our sweet potato reheating. So it will take about 10 to 12 minutes to heat through. While our sweet potato is heating through, we're going to cook our scrambled eggs. So in a pan, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil and then we're gonna add our beaten eggs and cook scrambling them for about one minute. We're going to add in some greens and some salt and pepper. And we're going to continue cooking until the greens are fully wilted and the eggs are cooked through. And we're going to top with our scrambled eggs. And that's our breakfast sweet potatoes. So that's our crock pot sweet potatoes and three ways that you can fill them. Now this list is by no means exhaustive. You can use the sweet potato puree for so many different things, including smoky sweet potato hummus, sweet potato falafels, sweet potato quesadillas. I have a ton of sweet potato recipes on my site and I'm going to link you to some of them in the description box below. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, you're gonna love the next recipe. I am showing you my trick to cooking spaghetti squash. This trick makes it so so much easier. And spaghetti squash is another great ingredient to roast up on meal prep Sunday and then use through the week. So check it out. <laughs> okay.